When it comes to special mission aircraft, Textron Aviation has a deep lineup of airplanes suited to the task. At the recent Paris Air Show, we took a look at the Grand Caravan EX single-engine turboprop and the CJ4 twinjet, both modified for tasks that are a little outside the box in terms of what you'd expect these aircraft to do. The latest addition to the array of options for the Grand Caravan EX is a new wing with four hardpoints. Well, we're here in front of the Grand Caravan EX. It's the latest version of the, of the Grand Caravan. It's been very successful around the world. This, the biggest change we made to it a few years ago was more power. The Caravan's great benefit is the multi-mission role. So it's used extensively for passenger and freight carrying, but also for things like skydiving, medical evacuation, surveillance, and now with the hard points that we've developed, it basically extends the capability that was inside the aircraft outside the aircraft. Those new hard points can carry everything from weapons to ISR equipment, and eventually extra fuel tanks. The inboard points, they're certified for dynamic loads, so we can actually have things hung there that can be dropped or deployed. The outboard ones are for static loads, so they're meant for stores that are actually, uh, that stay attached to the aircraft. An armed configuration of the caravan is not meant as obviously as a fighter. This is not an attack aircraft. This is really, it's a, it's a multi-mission platform that can do a lot of things well. It does a lot of surveillance around the world, but a lot of countries need to be able to execute on what they see. So it's a primarily a surveillance platform that can carry some munitions to take care of what you find if you find something. Each of the four hardpoints can accommodate a payload of up to 525 pounds, and the new wing only adds 15 pounds per side over the stock wing. Inside the cabin, this aircraft is equipped with an aeromedical stretcher and a Textron G-Claw Glide Munition Launcher, illustrating its capability for launching outside the airplane through an optional roll-up door. The Grand Caravan EX is also ideal for work that requires flying patterns over a specific area, like for search and rescue, and Textron has worked with Garmin to tailor the avionics to help the pilots with this task. You can hold around the point, you can choose the diameter of circle you want to fly, and it allows the pilot very quickly to define a position anywhere in the world. The aircraft can fly to it on autopilot and enter an orbit or enter a search pattern. Textron also showed us a modified concept CJ-4 business jet with a bird aerosystems pod mounted under the fuselage, allowing the aircraft to be used in a maritime or land surveillance role. The CJ-4 is an over 2,000 miles, 450 knot aircraft. So it's a different mission than what we do with the King Air, which is the most common ISR platform we sell, or the Grand Caravan EX, also used for light ISR and other, and other missions like that. The CJ-4 will give you a better dash speed to get somewhere. And with the technology available today in radars and sensors, a lot of times they actually can scan a larger area by going faster. So an example of a customer for this, um, currently the Mexican Air Force has three citations that were modified by, by Bird that they're using mostly in support of the Pemex oil production. So they do both the maritime patrol aspect of looking at the oil fields in the Gulf of Mexico, but also pipeline patrol over land as they control the criminal activity in Mexico and how that affects the oil production. And what we built and put together is actually a system that allows one operator, but it can be extended in other programs, to have all the information in front of him and all the information very tightly integrated between the sensors and the mission system. What you can see here, for example, is uh, the radar display. So we can see the radar input of a vessel. So on one hand, he can see whether the outcome of the SAR image of that vessel with the mast, with the back mast and the forward mast, and he can measure the distance. And then he can compare it to the high resolution picture. And then he can compare it to the AIS, automatic identification system that gives you information on what ship it is and what's the code name of that ship and see that everything is correlated, everything is working together. The system can be used similarly for land surveillance, and if a target is detected, 
the operator can relay the information to helicopters or ground-based forces so that they may act upon the intelligence. I think there's a growing demand for these type of aircraft. The fact that customers can utilize uh, civil aircraft such as this with a very limited installation at the end of the day and make it a dual purpose aircraft as the one we are sitting in right now where it can be both transport and special mission opens the door for many new customers around the world who are suffering from the same problems whether it's oil theft in Africa, fishery problems in Asia, ground and border protection in Eastern Africa all of these countries are looking for day for a very uh, cost-effective, and that's the name of the game at the end, cost-effective airborne solution.